Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This week we are going to do a super easy, super quick festival inspired makeup. So obviously it is summer and it is festival season. There's loads of festivals going on in Scotland, UK and probably all over the world, which is great. So we're going to do a festival inspired makeup, but also I'm going to be using L'Oreal, so that's obviously a drugstore brand, you can get it everywhere in the world. Um, and when I asked you guys on Twitter and things like that what kind of videos you'd like to see, um, quite a lot of you said drugstore brands, which is great. So me and L'Oreal have teamed up and I'm going to do this makeup for you. So it's super quick, it's not that many products as well, which is obviously good if you are going to a festival, you don't want to be taking a full makeup bag, unless you're me. But yeah, let's get started. So the first product I'm going to use is the Brow Artist Maker, which is a pencil type product. So it's got a kind of chunkier pencil at the end and I'm just going to use that through my eyebrows. So I'm going to start at the tail of the brow and because it's a chunkier pencil what I like to do with this is just paint it on top of the hairs, leaving the front free of product at the moment. It's quite good if you go over your brow line at all, you can just use your fingers and it blends away quite easy. Um, and then I'm going to swap it over and it's got like a little tiny brush on the other side. The make a bouquet and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just brush that through my brow which makes it a wee bit softer. How nice is that? And then what you can do is you can just go through the brows with a spoolie if you have one, don't worry if you don't. But I just like to use that just to comb the product through a little bit more and make my brows nice and bushy at the front. Bushy, is that the right word? Yes. Now it's up to you, you could leave your brows like this if you like. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to take the Nude Magic. L'Oreal, you're so French, I can't speak French. Nude Magic Cushion Dewy Glow Foundation, which suited me before I got tan, so it's a wee bit lighter for me. I'm going to talk more about the foundation when I actually go to use it, but for the moment I'm just going to use the sponge that's here with my little brush, get some product on my angle brush, and I'm going to carve out my eyebrows. And this is really nice because it's a foundation it's obviously not as heavy as some concealers so when you use foundation on your brows it tidies them up it makes them stand out a little bit more but it's not as harsh so it's quite nice and soft so all that does is it neatens up the eyebrows and then it makes it so when we go in with foundation later we don't need to go too close to the eyebrows so the eyebrows are pretty much done Next what we're going to do is we're going to move on to eyes. I've quickly popped a wee primer on and we're going to be using the L'Oreal Palette Nude. And this is what it looks like. Super nice neutral colours, tons of colours in there as well, which means that you don't need to take one palette. And I'm going to go in with the lightest shade here, which is a matte kind of cream. And I'm going to use my brush, just a fluffy brush, and I'm going to put that all over just to set my eye. Then I'm going to go in with a super fluffy brush and this shade here, which is a really nice matte taupe colour. And we're going to use that in the crease. So keeping my eye open, I'm just going to place this colour in the crease, working it right in with side to side movements in the crease. And then when we get towards the brow, I'm going to turn my brush up on its side and use the edge of the brush just to help blend that out. So festival inspired, you can kind of go brighter colours and things like that. If you're like me and wear black every day of your life and you're probably going to want to rock a smoky eye at a festival. I think festival, you can be quite grungy. Perfect, so once you've got that colour build up, I'm going to swap over my wee brush. I'm going to take a slightly smaller, slightly more dense brush and I'm going to pack on this colour here which is a darker brown. It's a wee bit warm as well, which is good for blending. Always helps. And we're going to apply that just in the crease as well, but just a wee bit more concentrated. I'm going to go back into my fluffy brush with the transition colour, the first colour, and just blend that out a little bit more. 
And I'm going to go in with a pencil brush in that same dark colour here. I'm going to go under my eye. I'm taking a slightly more dense brush again and I'm going to go in with a second darker shade here which is a really really dark chocolatey brown. I'm going to pack that onto the outer corner using that V shape that our eye creates. So go in onto the lash and then back up and then onto the crease. I'm going to go under my eye again but with a transition shade and just kind of smoke that out underneath. And then I'm going to use the second colour in, which is a really nice light shimmery shade. And I'm going to pack that onto the lid. What you can do as well is this shade is really, really nice for an eyebrow highlight. So I'm going to use a fluffier brush. And I'm just going to pop that on top of where we use the foundation to carve out the brows. Now I'm going to use a really tiny, tiny little angle brush and I'm going to go in with the black shade in the palette. And I'm just going to stamp this across my lash line just to make my lashes look a little bit thicker. Because let's be real here, who can use gel liner in a tent? Now what we're going to do is I'm going to use the Mega Volume Miss Hippie Lash which is a really nice mascara that gives you tons of volume. I've been wearing this for the last week or so and I love it. It's always good to get a good drugstore mascara. I feel, I feel like they do the best ones. And we're just going to make these lashes nice and chunky because we're not going to use false lashes today. So right in at the root. So I'm going to do skin now and then we'll probably go back to eyes with another product. So the foundation I'm going to use is the Nude Cushion, which is their new Super Dewy Glow Foundation, which obviously I'm a huge fan of. Um, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've been working on my skincare. So this is my skin with absolutely nothing on it. Um, and I have been dabbling in lighter coverage foundations. So this is perfect. What I'm going to do, um, it comes with uh it's a compact you open it up it's got a nice mirror on the top um, and it comes with a sponge as well so the idea is that you use your fingers you open this up and there's a little kind of sponge that's filled with your foundation and you pat it on and then you pat it onto your face so i've tried that and i do like it but as a makeup artist I am going to be using a brush today, so I have two colours here, I have a lighter colour which I'm sure is the colour 7, which I'm going to use on the high points of my face and then I'm going to use a slightly darker colour to warm my skin up because it's super glowy and dewy, um, it looks beautiful when you do it like that, so let's get started. Just pushing that into the skin. The wee sponge is amazing, so see when you're travelling that's fine, but if you're at home, try it with a brush. Um, I feel like you can get a little bit more coverage if you do it like this. I'm just going to use circular movements just to blend it in. Good thing about this foundation as well is it's got SPF, so it's SPF 29, which is great obviously for festival goers. So this is me using the darker colour, and I'm just kind of doing a slight contour with it. It is closer to my shade, I would say. This foundation is really lovely, it just makes your skin look the healthiest. See how dewy? Oh, the dream. So once your foundation is on, it gives the most nice, dewy, light, light, light to medium coverage. We're going to go in with the Glam Bronze Lutera. So you've got your two kind of ash, your bronzing tone, you've got your peachy, and you've got your kind of blush orangey tone. So I use these colours separately. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get the slightly peachy colour and I'm actually going to do a little light dust of that just under my eyes. And you'd think it would go bright orange but it doesn't, it just lifts, it gives a really nice lift to the eye. And then I'm going to go in with the three kind of mid tones here 
and I'm going to crank her. I'm going to swap my brush to a slightly bigger brush. So I can start using that as a bronzer now. And then at the end, towards the end, I'm going to mix these colours all together to get a nice kind of blusher type. Nice. So using a smaller brush for the contour and swapping to a bigger brush for the bronzing part and then I'm going to slightly bronze around my chin and my forehead as well. I really like the way that powders go on top of this foundation. Then I'm going to grab a slightly smaller eyeshadow brush with these two colours here and I'm going to contour the sides of my nose. It's the perfect colour for this, it's not too dark and it's not too warm so it genuinely just looks like a really nice light shadow. And then these colours are actually really beautiful on the eyes as well. So I'm going to grab my fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the orangey shade just to help blend. Go in with a slightly more dense brush and a darker brown. And I'm just going to apply that in the crease. Last but not least, we are going to do lips. So I'm going to rub off any excess foundation. And then obviously if you're at festival, Nine times out of ten your lips are going to be dry. Also, it's a nightmare if you're applying like a really matte lipstick and you're wearing it throughout the day. Obviously, festivals have limited amenities. So, I personally prefer a lighter lipstick. So, I'm going to use the Sexy Bam in As If. I'll show you what that looks like just now. I got so nice. Not to mention that these smell incredible. So obviously these are like a really pigmented lip balm. So yeah, that is my festival inspired makeup using L'Oreal. I feel like you could just pair that with, I've obviously got like a beachy kind of hair because I had a curl yesterday and a little top knot. Um, I know pleats would look really nice and obviously a lot of like kind of floral headbands and things like that. But this is a makeup that looks beautiful, it's super light and it's fresh on the skin which is great for when you are out festivaling. Um, and it also wears really nicely. Something a little bit different for you guys, I hope you like this video, I hope you learned something cool. Obviously I use a couple of the products in a couple of different ways which is great. But something else that you can do which I like to do is if you have any freckles like me that you want to paint in you can use a little brush and your brow marker to da -da -da on. so you can get some fake freckles for your festival um, so these products are really good I think I use like what one two three four five six I, seven, I use seven products which is amazing to create a full face and you can imagine how much space that will take up in your makeup bag. So I hope you guys like this tutorial and I'll see you next time.